And I thought you would be libertarian, and, mm -hmm. and but you were, used the word liberal uh, in your speech also yesterday in the yes. keynote. The term libertarian came about from the Foundation for Economic Education, where I work, in the early 1950s. Because the word liberal was now describing something like the New Deal status, and they were worried that they could not call themselves liberal because nobody would understand what they're talking about. So they came up with the word libertarian. It means the same thing, though. All they meant by libertarian was to recapture the classical liberal movement that began in the high Middle Ages and went all the way through the Scottish Enlightenment and all the way up through the, through the present. So there is no distinction between these terms. But, so, the reason I prefer the term liberal was because libertarianism it tempts us to think we don't have a history that dates back. But since nobody was calling themselves a libertarian in the late in the 19th century except a handful of left anarchists, right? So it cuts us off from our roots, you know, which, which dates so far back in European history. And also the word liberal is used in every language to describe what it is we believe. Free association, free economies, free speech, uh, the ennoblement of every human person. You know, that's 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 what liberalism means. So, for me, I don't think there's any other word. Ludwig van Mises himself, when he wrote his book Liberalism in 1927, the first edition in American uh, in English came out under a different title. It was called The Free and Prosperous Commonwealth. But when the second edition of, of that book came out, Mises said, "No. It must be called liberalism because that is the only right word for what we believe." We must embrace our history. Liberalism is our future. So he insisted. And I think he was right to insist on that term. So, yes, it's a little bit of a private campaign for me, but it's very nice to come to Europe and be able to use the word liberal in a way that everybody understands. Yes, yes. <laughs> as, especially in Germany, we use the liberal. As yeah, liberal. Still as a, right. liberal it's, yeah. it's very much connected to libertarian ideas. Yeah, very much. I mean, you know, it's a good way to think of it as liberalism is a broad umbrella. And maybe if you want to think about libertarianism as a subset of that, a little maybe tougher, a little more hard edged or something like that. I don't know. And then anarchism is even more uh, narrow than that. I myself uh, am an anarchist, but, but I like to think of myself as just part of this larger structure. I, I like thinking of myself a as a liberal too because it makes, makes my life bigger than just one generation. It connects me back with, with great thinkers from the past. And I, I like this aspect of it. And as you say, it, it has meaning in every language, you know. Oh, the other thing is the United States, they used to call themselves the left, The statists or the social democrats called themselves liberals. Now they call themselves progressives. So that leaves the term liberal just unused. So I think we should capture it back. As a matter of fact, I think that it was a mistake to ever let go of it. Yeah. yeah. I, I think that makes sense. Uh -huh. What was your impression so far? You spent three days here in Prague? Well, of course, I love Prague, right? Because uh, fi 500 years of history, you can see it uh, in the architecture and you see the beautiful integration between the past and the present and the future. So in many ways, the story of Prague is the story of, of human liberty. It's been protected from the wars, so it's, it's delightful in every way. I love it here. I think you made kind of a book club for Mises, right? So we know you as a scholar of many libertarian books. Mm -hmm. Do you know anything, uh, what's your impression about the European politics at the moment? In which direction do you see it? Do you go, see it going towards liberty? I, I was just talking to Wolf von Lehr about this. I think European libertarians are more sophisticated than Americans in many ways because you're surrounded by the threats uh, of authoritarianism from both the left and the right. And it's more pronounced. And I think you have a deeper understanding. American libertarians are very naive in some ways. Uh, and so like somebody like Donald Trump, it shocked them. They didn't know what he represented. And many just thought, oh, well, he's, you know, a friend, but they, they don't understand it. So I'm impressed with the sophistication of the European uh, libertarians. I mean, to be a libertarian in Europe means to have uh, taken a long intellectual journey. Yeah. You have to decide, you know, throughout your university life and through your, your, your professional life, who am I? What do I believe? Where are the roots of my ideas? And what are the implications of what I believe for the whole of humanity? These are big questions. Um, but are they important ones? So I, I, I can tell that the European uh, Students for Liberty ha has, I think, a, a deeper, more sophisticated self-consciousness of ideological identity than the U.S. So I, I, my goal now is to bring this European sense 
back to America? For me, it's completely different. I'm just, I saw Ron Paul first, yeah. and then of course you, and I'm just so inspired by United States libertarian movement. Yeah, I know. Then I just want to go there and kind of like I'm, I'm despairing a little bit in Europe. I don't see that I, with my little efforts I got much track. Yeah. Especially not in my personal realm, but also in the internet. It's much. Yeah, I, but it I seems think a lot of Europeans romanticize the, the libertarian movement in the United States. And it looks big and it looks exciting and we have a lot of thinkers and things, but, but in many ways it's unstable. And if you look over the last couple of years of being in, in the United States, it's been remarkable how many uh, American libertarians have, have abandoned their liberal idealism and chased other kinds of movements. And it's a very big danger, actually. So I'm, I'm very concerned about the future. But look, we're working very hard. I think in the end, it's very good for American libertarians that Trump came along, for example, because we, we can now try to figure out how are we different? from the totalitarians of the left and of the right. Who are we? This is, I think, the most important thing. Yeah. Thank you very much for your effort also to coming to oh, Europe. Sure. No, I it's think it's, it's, to be here. Right. it takes like eight hours in a small plane. I know, but it's very much worth it. I mean, it's just been so charming and wonderful. And I hope it's my first trip to Central Europe of many to come. Thank you very much. Okay. Have a good time in Europe so Thank far. Thank you so much.